Good morning, modern steaders. We need to finish getting ready for the piglets. Rufus. What's going on? You knocked your feeder over. I wonder if there's any chickens under it. Oh, there it was. <laughs> Every time they do that, there's usually a chicken under it. Watch out. I let their feed run out at night. That way I don't have to worry about them overeating. I probably don't have to worry about it because they're not like the Cornish crosses and just big old nasty monsters. But they're still going to grow within like 9 to 11 weeks. So our first time growing them, I don't want to overfeed them if that makes sense. Pluto, what are you doing? But they're doing really well. I was hoping I could put them out in the chicken tractors this weekend. But they're not big enough yet. So it's still chilly. We're supposed to get a frost tonight. So we'll leave them in New York City for probably another five to seven days. Bet you the chickens are gonna love some leftover food. You girls want some food? Come on. I tried cooking up a quick meal last night because we had to rush off to get to Olivia's concert and it wasn't that good. But it's not gonna go to waste. The chickens will enjoy it. And we have one chicken that likes to lay us breakfast first thing in the morning. The grass is greening up so nicely. I just broke down yesterday and I ordered some lawnmower blades for the Kubota. I was just thinking, they're the original blades and we've had that thing for four years. I shop with them every year and they're pretty bad. But I mow a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't with that thing, so I've never replaced the blades. I figure it's time to do it this year. But the worst part is they won't be here till Tuesday. I hope the grass doesn't get too crazy before then. So right after we move the chicken tractor, that's what it looks like. That's two days old, three days old, and then you can start seeing it greening up after four days. And then back here you can barely tell the tractor was there. And over here you can't even. It's amazing how quick that grass changes. And how good that chicken poo. We had a couple people say in the comments that we should have had our gate swing out. The thing is, if you have it swing in and the pigs are back here, when you open it, you kind of push them away. And you don't have to worry about them sneaking out. Whereas if it opened out, the pigs can sneak out past you. That's why I normally have them open in. If you want to see how we made our automatic pig water, I'll put a link to a video right here. But no judging, it's an older video, it's probably one of the first ones I've made. To... Now we need to repair our automatic pig feeder, the winter pigs. Sure did a number on this. Figaro's new hiding spot. What are you doing mister? Yeah, what are you doing? The hinges we got yesterday at Lowe's are for the feeder. The rest of the stuff, the dobbles, are for this project.
I try to leave enough board on the on all the edges so the pigs can get under it with their snout, lift it up, eat. watching the channel for a while, you know I love my ratchet straps. I don't think I've ever been this far along with everything set up when I bring the piglets home. And I wanted to thank all the modern steaders who watched the YouTube videos and helped make this all possible. It's hard being able to see it, but we got two strand electric fence up. Then we go down here. We have like an old road or something or an alley lane down the property right here. We go down there and then we shoot back up to the pen. I ran out of my fiberglass poles. I need to get a bundle more in that way. From here to that corner to where they'll sleep at night. I'm gonna put two strands of, of electric fence up to train them and they'll learn electric fence when they're piglets and then we'll let them out into the pasture area. Olivia has her last practice today at school. She has a big track meet tomorrow. So I am going to pick her up from school this afternoon. And when I do that, I'll run to tractor supply or before and I'll grab a few more of those posts. This is my DIY electric fencer with a car battery. I need to come up with something that looks a little bit nicer than that. I'll have to think of some ideas. If you have any, leave it in the comments down below. I'm just afraid to leave the electronics outside not covered and have them get ruined.
I like it. It just cleans it up a little bit. Now I'll just have to make something later on to cover the battery. Guess what I'm going to get tomorrow? Goats. Nope. Pigs? Pigs! We're getting our new piglets tomorrow. Yeah. Cool beans. No, I want goats. Well, we gotta get piglets first before no. we can get goats. Yeah. We should get goats first. Ah, we gotta get piglets first. Then maybe we'll get some goats, but we'll have to see. We are getting goats. Shh, shh, they don't know yet. You just ruined the surprise, man. It's <laughs> out <sighs> so now. That's only part of it, though, man. You'll have to wait for the rest, and you'll have to wait to see the goats. <sighs> and we'll see you right back here on the next video at Lemon Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, such efficiency, and freedom. Going to get piglets. Bye. Bye.